a proper Scottish Cup tie, isn't it, Robbie, this weekend? How much are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. A good game, good atmosphere, good crowd. I went down there last week to watch them, and you know it's quite an intense atmosphere. And it's yeah, we're looking forward to going down and hopefully getting a result. They obviously had a, a big win in the last round. What have you made of them, and what kind of challenges do you think they'll pose? Yeah, I think like they've had some brilliant results over the years, especially at home. You know, and they've been one of the top junior teams for a long, long time now. So we know it'll be a it'll be a tough game, a physical game, and one that we need to make sure we're ready for. Is it something that excites all the players as well, being involved in a Scottish Cup, a kind of traditional romance of the Cup tie? Yeah, well, it, it takes you away from the league a wee bit, you know, and it also this is an opportunity for us to hopefully get some trophy, trophy wear, but we have to take care of each game as it comes and, you know, it all starts on Saturday and we're looking forward to it. How's your squad looking for the weekend? Good to find Boyce is back in, so um, he'll be available for the weekend. And uh, other than that, we've still got wood burn out um, with COVID, the rest of them are good. Benny, how's he doing? Benny's stepped up his training, so he's done a wee bit today. He'll do some tomorrow and potentially be with us you know, on the bench. I don't think he'll not be ready to start. From the other night, how excited are you? The, the link-up that, that Barry has had with, with Josh seemed to excite the fans anyway. Yeah, look, the two of them are, are very good players. The two of them have got pace and I think at any football club when you've got threats like that in your team, it excites the fans and gets them off their seats. So, no, I've been pleased with the two of them recently. Gives you a few options up front. It does, it does, especially with Boise returning. So, yeah, we've got a few options up there that we can we can utilise. Thank you. Robbie, um, are you planning to play a full strength side against Hearts? I know that often like manager had said that he hopes that the reserves turn out. No, a bit of a tongue-in-cheek remark, but are you planning to go full strength yeah, against Celtic again coming up next midweek as well? 100%. Look, we've got a lot of games coming up, but I think it's really important that we put out a full strength team in every one. You know, yes, we'll maybe move a few players here and there, but we're definitely not going to take any uh, any chances at all. We're going to go down there full strength, and we need to do that to, to try and win the game. Is, sorry, go on, sorry. sorry, Robbie. I, I mean, there was a few big results for uh, teams down in England in previous weeks. Is is a giant killing in the Scottish Cup? Is that still a a, a factor you're wary of? Is that a possibility? I think it happens in every every league in every country. To be honest with you, you know, this is the opportunity for kind of lower league teams to play against, you know, the the, the higher league teams. So, yeah, it's, it happens. You know, as you saw last week down in England, and it happens up here. You know, so we need to make sure that we're, we're ready for it. Robbie, is this outside of maybe a, a fellow Premiership club? Is this one of the hardest? Ties you might have, have got away to Auckland, given their, yeah, think, what they've done recently. I think when the draw comes out, everyone wants a home game. You know, you want to play at home in front of your own fans. So any away game is always difficult in the cup, no matter what level you're going to. It's always a difficult one. You know, I've played them, you know, over the years, and they're all tough. So we know that this is going to be a hard game on Saturday. It's one that we have to make sure we're very, very professional going into it, and you know, make sure we put on a good performance to get through. We've seen with um, teams like Cove Rangers and. Kelty Hearts, when they've come up from the outside of the league, they've, they've done very well when they've got into it. It just kind of shows you that there's a lot of good teams that have, have not been in the league at, at all. Or, you know, yeah, look, there's a lot of good. It's interesting, you know, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the kind of lowland league teams and the even the the, the junior level teams are, are probably better than your, some of your, your league two teams, some of the league one teams as well, because they have, you know, it's more of a community club. You know, guys are obviously part time, they're working, and they get. You know, they get good crowds at these games as well. So I know a number of players that have, ad have had options to stay in the leagues, as in League 1, League 2, but decided to go to a, a junior team or a Lowland League or Highland League team because of the, you know, it suits them better for their lifestyle. You had to maybe, maybe for some of your players who are not from Scotland, maybe kind of drum into, the, drum into them what Lock and Left Talbot are all about and, the, you know, the, the history that they've got, that even though they're not a league team, that they are really dangerous. I think when you... You know, when you play at Hearts, you have to be ready for every game. You know, you're expected to win every game where you're playing against a, you know, a, a lower league team or where you're playing against one of the top teams in the country. So the players know that they need to turn up, they need to make sure they're ready for it and they need to be, you know, put on their best performance. It's asked about uh, Armand uh, and Julie. Is, 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 he, is he still at the club? So at, he, at the moment, Armand's speaking to another club. You know, he's been given a permission to speak to them, so he's now just trying to... Get something sorted. If it if it gets something sorted, then he goes with best wishes. If he doesn't, then he'll come back in this. If he does go, does that mean that you'll be 
spring into action in the transfer market yourself. Yeah, look, we, we were always going to recruit in that department anyway. You know, it just means we probably need to speed it up. But the key thing all along is to make sure we get the right player in. So if that takes a bit longer, then it takes longer.